I'm a huge fan of the AI buzz that's been going around on PCs. I mean, the reason I buy, the reason I bought this Dell XPS 13 was because it has Copilot Plus PC features or capabilities. And they're not great, they're not worth the reason to buy a laptop. Um, the reason I would buy this laptop, and the reason I genuinely will keep this laptop and I won't send it back, is because it's light, it's about 1.2 kilos, so around about the same as my MacBook Air. It's got the same battery life, longer battery life, 19 hours of battery life, compared to the 16 you get on a MacBook Air. That's incredible for a Windows laptop, right? That's the reason that you buy the uh, Dell XPS 13. Um, brilliant performance, it's got an MPU, it, can, it has future longevity. But the features that you get with Copilot Plus PCs that are specific to uh, 24H2, yeah, they're not there yet, in my opinion. Um, anyway, what I did want to show you, though, was the camera, because that is one of the features that might mean that I don't need these cameras that I've got right now. And I actually got three of these cameras. These are Blackmagic, um, what are they? Blackmagic Studio Camera 4K G2. And they're paired with the Lumix lens, which is a, actually an f1.7, f-stop 1.7. And that means I get the, the blurred background and stuff, right? And I've paid around about £1,300 in order to get a camera that I can plug in to, to mains and be consistently reliable and have a lens that gives a blurred background. And I had a look at the camera that's on this XPS 13. Let's take a look at it. So I actually have a camera that is set up just above this laptop, as you can see. So the, the picture you're going to get from this angle is going to be very similar to the laptop angle that we're going to look at in a moment. So looking at this laptop angle, and looking at the laptop itself, not the angle, looking at the laptop itself, uh, we're going to have a look at the features you get. I'm going to go into settings, and there I am. So um, the thing I want to focus on is not automatic framing, but automatic framing is pretty cool. If you move to the side, let me show you. If I move to the side, it will follow me after a few seconds. It will slowly follow me and keep me in focus, apparently. Uh, apparently not. Apparently doesn't want to do that. Um, that's the idea, though. It's meant to follow you and keep you in focus. But the thing I actually did want to show you is the... Not the eye contact thing. Uh, this portrait blur. So that you can see the background here is pretty blurred, right? I'll just go into full screen on this so you can see that. Um, it's a bit of a blurred background, right? And you get that with Teams already, don't you? I mean, it can blur the background, but not as well as this. You normally have around the out, around the, the edges of the face and the head, you get uh, obvious bits where it can't quite figure out if it should blur it or not, um, especially around hairline and that kind of thing. So here, it's actually pretty good. It's obviously not as good as the uh, the actual camera that's doing it with physics. This is using uh, the NPU, the AI chip. Um, and we can see that it's using the AI chip. Let me just go back to the screen recording and I'll go to Task Manager because in performance, you've got this new NPU and it's currently using 24% of the NPU just to blur the background for me. So if we go back to the screen, uh, the camera recording. Now, obviously it does have, it is artificially blurring the screen, right? So it's not going to be as good as the other one, but let me just let me just show you this. So um, here we have a torch, right? So this, as you can see on this camera here, it is blurring it. It's got the word Nebo on it, right? N-E-B-O. I don't know what that means, but it, it says Nebo. Now, it's blurring it artificially on this camera because it doesn't know that it, I, it's not a background, right? However, on this other camera that we've got, this one here, it should be pretty much in focus. See that? Apart from the light shining on it, it was pretty much in focus. And that's um, that's because one of them is artificially blurring it and one of them isn't. And that's, you know, that's, that's probably fine. I think, generally, this is actually quite a good, um, quite a good camera, really, considering the size difference, that the lens is like a millimetre or something on this laptop compared to the huge lens I've got on the 
and the huge Lumix lens I've got on there, 25 millimeter, millimeter lens. So I'm quite impressed with how this makes a, a setup like I'm aiming for so achievable with just a laptop screen, a laptop camera. And if I lift the laptop up a little bit, you can really try and get the right angle you want if you needed to. Um, it obviously, it, it probably needs to be a bit closer to get the right thing in the background. If I try and get my normal background, it would need to be around here. So, yeah, I mean, you get some of the ceiling, but I think you can really play with it and get it to be just how you want it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's... That, I think it's worth it just for that. I'm going to go into some of the other features of um, of what you get with the Copilot Plus PC later on, because it is, aside from the battery life, you do get quite a few extra things that I want to go into. So anyway, see you next time.